Hello guys, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you ways to fix video playback lag while editing in your timeline. The first thing you can try to do is to go up to edit over here and come down to preferences and under your preferences, you can move to your memory. Now under optimize rendering 4, you need to change it to performance. Make sure it's on performance. It could be on memory, but change it to performance. The next thing you need to do is to ensure that your reserved RAM for other application is at the minimum possible. Mine is 1.5 gig. You can set it to be as low as 1.5 gig. The next thing you need to do also is to go and take a look at your media cache. Now you can set these options over here, but the first thing I would like to do is to delete unused. Now a lot of unused media cache files might be stored up in your PC, so you need to delete unused media cache files and this will automatically create space for you in Premiere Pro. Also you may need to consider your media cache management. You can come over here and under automatically delete cache files older than you can set it to the number of days. Mine is 14 days. You can make it 7 days and it will automatically delete files older than a week from your PC. Another option here is to automatically delete oldest cache files when cache exceeds 11 gigs. So you can set this up and hit OK. The next thing you can try also is to come over to this drop down box now and change your preview resolution. Right now it's on full, you can drop it down to 1 over 4. So this will only reduce the quality of the preview but it doesn't reduce the quality of the export. So you will still be exporting at the best quality. Another thing you can do if you are still experiencing any lags is to come over to file, project settings, general and then you want to change your renderer from software only to mercury playback engine gpu acceleration and hit ok and you can see that the moment i did that a huge percentage of my timeline here has turned from red to yellow which means that these portions will not have any form of playback lag while editing in your timeline the next thing you might want to try is to turn off high quality playback so you can come over to your settings here on your project monitor and come to this high quality playback if you have it checked you can make sure that you uncheck it. Another thing you may need to try is to close all the metric scope panels. You can come over to your first control panel over here. Okay, so for me, I don't have any lumetric scope opened, but if you have it open, you will see it among one of the options here, like source clip, lumetric scope over here. Just right click and close your lumetric scope. Another thing you need to do is to definitely mute the global effects. Now, the global effects is the effect that you have applied to all the videos and the audios, the soundtracks across your timeline. So to do this, all you need to do is to come over to this plus sign and you will find it here, the global FX mute, showing FX and drag it here. Now the moment you drag it here, hit OK and you now have it as an option here. So for example, this image over here, I want to apply an effect to it right now. Let's say I add a Lumetri colored effect to it. I increase the brightness and the saturation. Now with the global FX mute now, once I off this mute, it's not just going to off the effect on this clip only, rather it's going to silence the effect across all the clips on my timeline and it's going to help my timeline play much faster. So you can mute your global FX over here and you can unmute it over here. So now that I've opened my Lumetri scope here, if you want to close your Lumetri scope, all you need to do is to select this Lumetri scope here, click on these three options here and click close panel. Another thing you need to do is to close out other applications. So move down. If you have other software like After Effects, Photoshop open on your taskbar, you need to close all of them to free up space for your PC. The next thing you need to do is to, is to render a portion of your video. So over here, I can come over to this portion here and hit a mark in or hit the I button and move over to this other portion here and hit the O button, hit enter to render. And now when I play this video, there won't be any lags. The last thing you may try to do in times like this is to save your work and restart your PC. It has been proven that whenever you restart your PC, your PC automatically frees up some memory, thereby helping your workflow to become faster. And that's it guys. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video.